morning everybody it's 7 30 a.m friday march 25th 2022 when i'm filming this how's it going you like my new clock did i show it to you i showed it to you yesterday right uh -huh. got it here i don't have time to set it up today i've got to get going but it's going right there that way i'll always know what time it is here and i'll know what time it is to go home no excuses right unless if uh, i happen to not look at the clock for a long time which could happen so we're going to tool on today uh, we're gonna get the truck ready hook up to the trailer and head on out i've been done with winter for the season since about january 2nd done with it and this last week we had it was so warm everything was melting i was so happy but it turns out winter wasn't done with me. Manitoba is definitely not done with winter this year. So uh, here we are, living the dream. Woke up to a blizzard this morning. It's not as bad as the past blizzards we've had. And at least a lot of the snow we already had on the ground was gone and melted, so it's not adding on top of that. But uh, here we are, and all next week, it's supposed to get really cold this weekend and then next week it's gonna warm up again, but we're supposed to have snow all next week yet. So it's something to look forward to, you know. If you're ever thinking about visiting Manitoba, uh, you, this, is, this is what you can expect to see. You can get yourself ready, pumped up. I know, get excited. And I know this is probably why we don't have a lot of tourism. <laughs> But you gotta trust me, our summers are really, really good. They're really nice. Like all two weeks, amazing. But in all honesty, jokes aside, we have really good weather here about six months of the year. And six months of the year we have this. So it's give and take, you know? And we have another driver over there parking on the shoulder in a snowstorm. Buddy, why do people keep doing that? All that traffic behind them now. Unless it's an emergency, okay? You get a free pass if you broke down or you have an emergency or something, but man, if at all possible, don't stop to check the map on the shoulder of the highway in weather like this. That's just, it's asking to get hit. It's asking for bad things to happen. And get off the road. There's a service road right over there on this on this stretch of highway. You can get off into there, park there, or you know, on an off ramp or somewhere where you're not putting everybody's lives at risk. And your own. Ah, that's just my little my little finger wagging at you for today. Little trucker Josh finger wag. You won't park on the shoulder. Even in good weather, you shouldn't be parking on the shoulder of the highway unless you have to. If you have to pull over and stop, you know, just find a, a better place. I'll keep shaking my finger at you until everybody knows. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, oh, whoa, you see that? Oh, does he even know? Oh, I don't think he knows. Oh, he's gonna find out. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. Did you see that? The cover of his gravel trailer was flapping around and the wind wasn't tied down. Oh, bye. Oh boy, that's just to add to all the fun of the snow. Ah, poor guy. I don't have a radio in this truck, but even if I did, not like he has one that's turned on. 99% chance he doesn't. Yikes. Oh. Well, the weather did clear up, but a lot of ice was left on the road and they're pretty slippery today. And there's quite the wind coming out of the west. I'm headed west right now, but as I was heading north before, uh, just on Highway 8, uh, I'd be very careful with an empty trailer like mine behind me. I'm like a giant billboard with no weight in the trailer holding me down. So it, it likes to make you swim around in your lane a little bit, so you gotta slow her way down. But we got here. No incidents to report. Customer's just up here, we're gonna load her up and uh, slowly make our way back down south. It doesn't look like it, but it's very windy. And opening up this Conestoga trailer, this roll tight, is gonna be uh, a fun task, but at least it's a good one. This is one of the ones that roll really well. Shouldn't have a problem. Here we are, we made it. Safe 
and sound. Well, we still got to get in the yard. Oh, my steers are sliding on the ice. Okay, here we go. Man, I can just see the wind just whipping around the plastic over there. Thanks. Let's get this done. Ah, yeah. There we go, going all the way to California again. All loaded up. Almost out of battery. Oh boy. Gotta close this thing quick, man. You guys, everybody pull, okay? I need your help. Alright. Look at it, the trailer just eats all the freight. Go. 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 Come on. All the way to the front. Come on. Yeah, there we are. Uh, oh, no, don't go back on me. I think I need to buy a new steering wheel for this truck, you know? I mean, this one works. It's round. It says Peterbilt on it. I mean, it's... I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. You guys keep saying I need a new steering wheel. I don't know what's wrong with this one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go get one. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. This one works just fine. See, it's a little squeaky, but it works. It's an old truck. What do you want? I like it. Come with me, trailer. Oh, man, it's a little cold outside today. My brakes froze on my tractor a little bit there. You see? That's crazy. I'm done with winter. Like, I don't care if it's not done with me. I mean, I really want to break up with winter. But it's just not letting me go. You know, it needs to move on. It needs to understand that it's not wanted anymore. And I don't know how to tell it. You know what? Tried to be kind of blunt. I'm like, get out of here. But she keeps coming back. Winter just won't leave us alone. But on the good side of things, for good news, or in good news, it's Friday today. And it's a good day to be trucking. It's not really a good day weather-wise, but meh. We're inside a nice warm cab right now. Who cares how cold it is outside? All that matters is we're trucking. Got my load all tied down and the roll tight behind me. Got her all buttoned up. What's the time now? 11 o'clock? Oh, we're halfway through the day already. It's almost the weekend. I'm gonna hang up my clock tonight after work. There you go, there's something to look forward to. See, it's a good day. You always got to have something to look forward to. I'm looking forward to hanging up my clock. We made it back. It's another good day. I'm going to hang it right about here. I just realized that I'm going to have to hang it low enough that I can reach this little... Uh, well, here, so maybe like right between, just above the... Oh, actually. Hmm, maybe between the bolt knot posters here. Might have to widen this gap a little bit more. This is the center of the wall here, right where this thing's hanging. So like right there somewhere. I think that'll work. We're gonna make uh, an official clock hanging ceremony tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. So we'll make a Saturday vlog and uh, Britt's gotta work all day tomorrow. So I'll be here all day. She doesn't work tonight, however. So I'm gonna go home and spend time with her tonight. And then we'll figure this all out tomorrow. And then I'll have to uh, get some shelving in here. Eventually. I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. It's a good space right now. I figured I would just add this on to the end of this vlog. That way you don't have to wait. This is what we came up with. My dad helped me hang it up. Uh, I got this little Chevrolet sign from Canadian Tire as well to add to this little display here. And let's see if it lights up. Uh, Okay, it's not lighting up right now. Great, I'm gonna have to show you this tomorrow anyways. <laughs> when it gets cold in here, I just had the, the door open right now. And when it gets cold in here, that yellow light around there doesn't light up as bright. Oh, it's already, oh, it's getting brighter. It's getting brighter. It just needs to warm up and then it goes. A little disappointing because I live in Canada. So you would think that it would, whatever, it's made for inside, 
made for inside. But there you go, guys. Now I always know what time it is, sort of, because it's, you can hardly see the, the hands in the clock, right? Because they're black hands on a black background. You would think that they would uh, <coughs> make the clock hands white, so that they stood out more, but... Oh, well. It's authentic Chevrolet or authentic GM something or other, so it was like a hundred bucks. <laughs> Expensive clock. But uh, it's worth it. Worth it. I'll show it to you again sometime yet when it's fully lit up. It's, I think I showed it to you the other day though, right? Yeah, I like it. At least I have a clock in here now. Which reminds me, it's time to go home. Brit's done work. That's why I have the clock. I'm supposed to be home already. I'm still at the shop.